Hello everybody, this is the Silly Moustache again and I'm in my workshop today and I'm looking at restringing this Harmony H1270 and I like uh, restringing guitars yes I'm weird but I do but this particular guitar has three important aspects it has a slotted headstock with slender slots it has a floating bridge and it has a tailpiece each one of these presents a challenge the float the, the, the thin um, slots in the headstock make it difficult to work the strings in and out the floating head slot, uh, floating bridge if it gets out of um, position can change the intonation and of course the, the, the tailpiece can be rather difficult to thread the barrels underneath and seat properly in those little bits and pieces just there so let's assemble the tools first of all my string winder it's um it's an electric screwdriver it has a stewback bit my long nose pliers handy for getting the uh, strings out in first place also a little dental probe that i have that's often useful for the same thing and a little light dentistry of course um got to have a pair of pincers to cut the strings which is also a planet waves thing and um and has a manual winder on the back um i have a planet waves uh neck support a little flathead screwdriver a tuner of course of your choice and a small paintbrush what did i mention the tape yes i'll have some tape as well um and at this point it would be good to say you're changing strings you can buy these sort of safety specs very cheaply and it might help i'm not actually going to bore you with changing the strings here i'm just going to talk you through my method so the guitar is set on a nice safe worktop with a non-scratching nice towel underneath there um, and um, it's sitting on the neck stand with the headstock over the edge of the worktop so I can get into the tuners easily yeah um, you can tape up the bridge you can put a little bit of tape over there I choose not to because I don't like any stickiness on the top but it depends what tape you use and it is certainly an option um, the other thing that I would mention is that when I start detuning the guitar I leave the 12th string and the first string to tension to help hold that bridge in place so then I'll just detune the strings get them loose and then pull them out with the pliers and then run back and get them out from under the tailpiece now as the tension reduces on the tailpiece it'll get lower and lower so you'll have a problem where the barrels are larger than the slot that's available underneath that's where the paintbrush comes in a little very gentle levering could help right the other option of course is to take the strings off and cut them around here so you can then pull that bit out that way um, you're not going to use those strings again so they're going to go in the bin into recycling perhaps and um, so that is another method the choice is yours so once I've taken off all the strings relieving number one and number 12 i can clean polish and inspect inside as necessary <clears throat> and um another good thing to do and this is where the small screwdriver comes into play is tension up these ancient old waverly six on the plate strings these are extremely worn tuners on this they've been tuning and untuning this guitar since 1964 i expect some of you are younger than that they are very very worn gears but once they're tightened up and once they're to tune they do stay in tune remarkably well but they're you know they're, they're not um 
state of the art exactly. The other thing to do is take a small screwdriver and just nip up the securing screws on the plates and also, if necessary, on the tailpiece here. Yeah, um, There have been some disasters with tailpieces in the past, not by me, but I have read of them. Um, then you're ready to uh, to, to commence the, the restringing. I prefer to string from the outside courses inwards. So I'd go 11, 2, 10, 3, etc, etc. That's up to you. The other thing I would say is I like to, let's see if I've got a pointer here, I like to tune from the inside out on the first and the, tw uh, the sixth course but with a thin headstock like this it really isn't always possible my theory is that um, it's nice to get the strings going squarely over the nut as possible but as you can see from here it's really not feasible on this one if I compare that to my Martin headstock on my D1220 you can see that the um, the slots are much wider and I can actually do that procedure much more easily it depends on the geometry of the headstock. So, commence to reel straight. Seat the seat the um, seat the barrel of the uh, of the string in there. Put a little bit of tape over it, um, by all means. And um, they do catch you out these things. And thread the stri string through the capstan. And I have selected measurements for those and I start for instance with the E at two and a half inches this is where the ruler comes in ruler two and a half inches and cut with the pincers um, two and a half inches and then I go to three inches three and a half and for G B and E strings first second and third I do them all at four inches before I start winding I use my pliers to bend the end of the cut string um, with a, a, a shape like that to hopefully 90 degrees and then that helps me slot it in and then start winding and then as the end comes round I can choose where the string winds to the left or to the right of it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm taking them approximately to tension you're not going to try and tune them up at this stage that is pointless just putting tension on the guitar until you've got your bridge secured by that tension and then you can take off numbers 12 and 1 and replace them um, what do we do then then we um, then then w once we've got all 12 strings on and we can take off any bits of tape or whatever there and we've got all the barrels comfortably seated then we can start uh, chewing it up I tune my 12 string guitars to one tone down which means that's not an E it's a D that's not an E that's a D uh, just take that tension I use medium gauge strings on this one I use this is the only guitar that I use bronze strings on and I've been using these M 190s by Martin all come in a nice hermetically sealed package which is quite interesting as when I open them um, these strings show obvious signs of rust um, on my Martin D1220 um, I use the Dario uh, EJ37s exactly the same gauge as this uh, and I've never opened one that's been rusty so there we are um, so take it up to tension slowly bit by bit by bit remember you've got old tuners here and um, <laughs> the tuning process I think is a matter of rinse and repeat so uh, you tune it up and then oh the other thing I like to do is some people say you can't stretch strings let's just say you tension them yeah so just let pull them help them seat um, just give them a bit of tension and let them seat uh, and that will help them settle down into a, a consistent tuning this guitar which has had a neck reset has all sorts of repairs has had a lot of hard hard work in its life keeps tune remarkably well as in fact does the old Martin they've both been through a lot um, but they're stable so that's all I wanted to say 
it's a big job. It's not a job to be taken, to be approached in a hurry. It's not a job to be approached without having the a comfortable set of tools in front of you and thinking about it slowly and methodically. So that's me, silly moustache, doing one of the worst possible string changes. And um, I hope that helps you if you find yourself in a similar situation. Thanks a lot for watching.